Hi everyone, this is Angela from Curry Senior Center. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about Zoom. Zoom is a free video calling app that you can easily download and use on your iPad to attend classes, have group video calls with friends or family, and it's pretty easy to use. So I'm going to show you how to install Zoom, set up an account, and then set up a meeting. So first thing we want to do is go to the App Store and look for the Zoom app. The App Store is the blue app with a white A. You should have it on your home screen. If not, swipe between home screens and look for it. So when I open the App Store, I can use the search button up there, or I can make sure that down here, search with the magnifying glass is highlighted in blue. I'm gonna put my finger there in the search bar, and I'm gonna type the word Zoom. You'll see my search results come up here. So I'm gonna choose the first one, which is just Zoom. This goes to another screen on the App Store with the results of my search. The first thing you'll see is usually the one that you want, and you'll see it says Zoom Cloud Meetings, and this is the icon that you're looking for. Looks like a blue square with a white video camera icon. Now, I've already downloaded it, so my options here are to open it. If this is the first time that you're downloading it, you would obviously choose the word get that would appear there, and then you would install it. So since I've already downloaded it, I'm gonna go back to my home page and open it from there. I'm gonna press my home button, and I'm gonna look for Zoom, which I've downloaded already. This is the Zoom app, as I mentioned, is a blue square with a white video camera icon. I'm gonna press that to open. The first time that you open the Zoom app, it's gonna ask you a couple different things. You can directly join a meeting. You would do that if you had a Zoom invite, which I'll show you in a little bit. You can sign up for a Zoom account, or you can sign in if you have an existing Zoom account. And once you sign in, it'll remain signed in on your iPad. So this is the first time I'm doing it, and for the class, I'm gonna sign up for a Zoom account. As I mentioned, Zoom is free, and they offer you 40 minutes for a free video call every time you use it if you wanna set up your own meeting. You can attend a meeting for free and for no limits on the amount of minutes if someone invites you to a meeting. For purposes of this lesson, I'm going to sign up and show you how that process works. Zoom wants me to confirm date of birth, and you do not have to put the correct information in. I'm just going to pick a date of birth, I think, so that they know I'm a certain age. So we'll just pick a random date of birth, confirm. I'm going to put in my Curry email address. Okay, I'm going to put in my name. and I'm gonna hit sign up. So now Zoom will send you a confirmation email to your email to confirm that it is you that is signing up for this account. So I'm gonna choose the word okay. And now I'm gonna to go to my email app and I'm gonna double check and make sure that I got that email since that is the next step in the process. I'm gonna hit my home button. I'm going to open 
my email. And now you'll see I have an email right here from Zoom that says, please activate your Zoom account. I'm gonna select that. You'll see over here in the email from Zoom, they want me to select this button to activate my account. So I'm gonna press that. It takes me to a web page. It didn't take me to the app, which is fine. And it asked me some questions. Are you signing on up on behalf of a school? So I'm not signing up on behalf of the school, so I'm gonna say no and continue. Okay, so now this tells me that my account has been successfully created, but with a lot of apps that provide a service, it wants you to sign up with a password. So this is also for your security. So I would recommend if you do wanna sign up for your own free Zoom account, that you do sign up for it with a password. Like I said, you can attend any Zoom calls without an account, but this is just how you would get an account for yourself. So I'm gonna create a password here. Uh, tells me that iPad has already created a strong password for this website and will save it for you. You can use that by choosing use this strong password, or you can choose your own password. So I'm gonna create my own password because I like to know what they are. Gives me some guidelines. It must be at least eight characters, have one letter at least, have one number, and have both uppercase and lowercase. So I'm gonna use a password by tapping in that button there. And I'm gonna get my keyboard and I'm gonna type in my password. And if I meet all those requirements, it turns green. Now I have to type it again to make sure that it matches. And it is green. And so the next button I get is continue. It offers to save this password in my iCloud keychain, which is a way that you can save um, stored passwords. But I'm going to say not now. Okay. This page will allow you to invite some of your friends if you'd like, but I am going to skip this step. Okay, so now it says my Zoom account is ready and I can start a test meeting. I'm gonna go back to the app and log in there. I'm gonna press my home button. I'm going to go to the Zoom app. And remember where we left this last time is I went to sign up for Zoom. Now that I've done that, I can do the other step, which is sign in. I'm gonna put in the email address that I've used for my Zoom account. Spelling mistake. And I'm gonna put in the password that I set up. And I'm going to sign in. Again, it offers to save my password if I wanted to. So you can choose save password or not now. I'm gonna choose not now. So this is our Zoom homepage. This is what the app will look like when you open it up after you have signed up for an account with them. A couple things I wanna just show you on the screen and then we'll get into how to set up a meeting. You can use this home screen to join a meeting that's already in progress. You could schedule a new one with some friends for a future date. And while you're in those meetings, you can share your screen so let's say you're on a call with some friends and you'd like to show them some photos that you've recently taken or something else on your iPad, you can share a screen to show them what you're looking at. While you're on calls, you can also chat with people. That's what this little bubble is over here in the corner. Meetings 
is a quick look at all the meetings you've scheduled. So it's sort of like your calendar of meetings that are coming up. In contacts, is a list of the people that you contact on Zoom. And then the settings, which is this down, down here, this button that looks like a gear, similar to the iPad settings app. It's a different settings for the Zoom app, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So next I wanna show you how to schedule your own meeting. I'm gonna choose the schedule button right here. And this one, it pre-fills in some things for you and it will have some settings that are standard for security. Now, it's kind of given me a line here. It's slightly hard to see Angela's Zoom meeting, a little bit grayed out, but you could title this anything you wanted. If you wanted to press your finger there, you get your keyboard. So let's say you wanted to schedule a Zoom meeting for um, a friend's birthday. You could say something like, uh, Joe's oops, birthday Zoom. So now that's the title of my meeting. And when people get an invite for this, they'll know what it's for. I'm going to hide my keypad over here so you can see more of the screen that's behind here. Now, it fills in the next hour that's coming up, but it doesn't have to be today at four o'clock. When I press my finger there, it gives me a scrolling list of other dates. Let's say Joe's birthday Zoom is going to be on Saturday at 2 p.m. So when I find the date and the time that I want the meeting to be, I'm going to say done. And the duration is filled in as 30 minutes. And I'm going to say that it's uh, zero. You can adjust that as well. But keep in mind that for the free Zoom account, you're limited to 40 minute calls. I'm going to say this is 30 minutes and then done. The time zone is filled in based on where my iPad is. I can also make this a recurring meeting. If I wanted to repeat this every Saturday, I would choose every week. Let's say every time it's the 13th of the month, I wanna say every month, et cetera. But I'll just say no repeat for now. I can link this Zoom invite with my calendar and it pre-selects the iCalendar app, which is the one that's associated with your iPad. Zoom provides a personal meeting ID for every account that belongs to you alone. And you can use that if you want, but it's not selected here. And I would say that you would mostly not use that so that you could have a different meeting ID so that it's a security feature so that you're not sharing that personal one with a lot of people. Require meeting password is selected and that's a good security feature to keep on. And it pre-fills a new and different password every time you set up a new meeting. Here are some meeting options. So when you first join the call, this is grayed out. So it says host video on, but that's off. That means when you first join the call, your video is not on immediately. And that's always good because sometimes you're not ready to be right away on camera. Participant video on is the same idea, but for the people who are joining your call. And that means that they have the opportunity to um, turn their camera on when they're comfortable. Enable waiting room. That setting is so that when people join your Zoom call, they go into a waiting room, which means that they'll see a screen that says that the host has not started the call yet and that you're waiting to be admitted. And that's a feature that enables you to just have people join all at once, and then you're in control of also um, welcoming people into your Zoom room so that you know who's joining. So when I'm done with these scheduling options, I'm gonna hit done. So now I have a description of my Zoom event that I set up with all the details that I just filled in. 
And one thing I want to show you, oops, sorry, that's down here, is the link. And this is pretty much something you'll get used to seeing if you use Zoom a lot. This is the link, looks like a long web page with a lot of letters and numbers. And this is the exact link to the meeting that I set up for Joe's birthday Zoom. And if I hit add, it's now set up the meeting and I can see it if I go to my meetings menu over here on the left hand side. So when I do that, I see that Saturday the 13th at two o'clock, I set up a Zoom for my friend Joe's birthday and this is the meeting details. Now, Zoom really works when you share the meeting details with others. So you do need to invite people to a Zoom meeting if you wanna host it. You can do that a couple ways. The first way I'm going to show you is to send an invitation. So you'll see here, again, I'm in my meetings menu and I've got one meeting so far set up and I have the option here to choose Joe's meeting and I can add invitees. So I'm going to choose that and I wanna send an email to people to invite them to this call. And I'm going to choose send email. Now this creates a little email with all of Joe's birthday Zoom information in it. And it gives me the option here in two for who do I wanna send it to. So I'm gonna invite Philip, our project coordinator, to this Zoom meeting. So I'm gonna type in his email address. So I just start typing and here comes his email address. And when I choose him, I can invite others. You can invite as many people as you want. I believe the free Zoom account will allow you to invite up to 100 participants. I'm gonna also invite um, my work email address so I can just show you how to put in another email. There we go. So now these two people will get this Zoom meeting invite. Actually, I'll also email my iPad so that you can see what it looks like when you receive a Zoom meeting invitation. And here we have the up arrow, which is what you would press to send the email with the invitation. And again, just to hide my keyboard, you can see it's got the description of what the event is. It's got the link, the meeting ID, and the password. This little box here, if someone has another iPad or an iPhone and they receive it, they can click on that link in their email and it will automatically add it to their own personal iPad calendar. But I'll show you that as well. I'm gonna hit send with the blue arrow. Okay. So now this just brings me back to the Zoom app. I don't need this information right now. I'm just gonna hit cancel. And I'm gonna to go to my home screen. I'm gonna to go to my email. And in my email, you'll see I have received an email and it says Zoom meeting invitation, Joe's birthday Zoom. And it tells me who's inviting me, the name of the meeting and the time and the date and the link to join it. And like I mentioned, here's the little icon that I can add that to my calendar. So if I wanted to, I would just press that and this opens up a little window that looks like my calendar. It puts all the information, pre-fills it in, and I can choose add to calendar. So now it's on my calendar. I'm gonna hit done. And I'll show you that as well. If I go to my home button and I open up my calendar, which is that. I go to my June 13th. Oops. And I see that Joe's birthday Zoom is preloaded in my calendar. So the person that I sent this to, if they put it in their calendar, they can quickly open up their calendar and press join the Zoom meeting, which is right down there in the calendar. It might be a little hard to see. And then they would just join it. 
and I'll press to go away. And again, here's my Zoom app, and I was looking at my upcoming meetings. So in the next lesson, I'm gonna show you how to join a Zoom meeting and what all of the features are that you can use while you're actually in a Zoom meeting with others. Talk to you soon. Thank you.